Hello and welcome along to this week's edition of the Long Haul Podcast. I'm Michael Dorgan and this week I previewed the historic New York versus Offaly game taking place in Tullamore Saturday. It's the first time New York have played a team outside of Connacht and the first time they have played two championship games in the same season. I'm at Gaelic Park and I've just finished interviews with New York manager Johnny McGinney, captain Jamie Boyle, along with players Johnny Glynn and Mick Cunningham. I also spoke to New York chair Joan Henchy. The game throws in Saturday at 9am Eastern Time, that's 2pm Irish time and it will be shown live on GA Go. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at The Long Haul Pod and all of our previous podcasts are up on thelonghaulpodcast.com. So I'm here with Johnny McGinney, manager of the New, uh, New York senior team. Uh, Johnny, thanks for speaking to me. Um, I didn't get a chance to speak to you after the Sligo game. I just want to reflect on it if you don't mind. What were your th- initial thoughts on the game itself? Uh, I'd say I was disappointed with the outcome, um, but I thought we played well. Uh, we didn't get the break of the ball. Uh, could have maybe done a few things different, but um, overall, you, you have to be happy with it. You know, you don't have competitive games, but definitely disappointment to lose by four points. You didn't get the rub of the green, and uh, I was speaking to Pat Splann afterwards, and um, it seemed like all the good play- all the players who played well were on the New York team, yet you came out the wrong side. It just seemed like a rub of the green there at the end. It just didn't go your way. Did you feel hard, feel hard done by, or did you feel that everything was left out in the pitch? Uh, no, I definitely think they left ever- everything out in the pitch. Uh, it's, 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 I suppose it's a thing here in New York. You know, Players always seem to play well and always on the wrong side of the outcome, but... There I definitely felt that on the second half performance alone, I think we hit the post three times and you know the, the ball doesn't always bounce into the defender's hands or the keeper's hands, but listen, that's that's football, that's we love the game, that's keeps us on our toes, you know. What did you learn about the what did you learn from your panel of players that day that you didn't learn, that you didn't know already? Uh, I don't think we learned too much, um, because we knew we knew what they were capable capable of. Um, but it was nice to actually see them to play, like Neil Medine, <laughs> he's over there having a cigarette, um, <laughs> you know, in training. Probably a beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In training, he's, he's like a snail. Um, I think the underage were quicker than him tonight, but give that man a ball during the game and he's, he's, he's somebody to go, you know, so. He's legal, he's the, probably he's playing the best football out here in New York. I've seen him play with Brooklyn and Kerry this year. He's like, just, he's nearly unstoppable at this stage. He's your main man. How, how, how has he been doing the last couple of weeks in, in training? Uh, I suppose nail has been brilliant. Like He hasn't missed it. And, and Nail's still 50-50 on, on whether he can go or not. You know, We, we don't right. know if we're going to have him Saturday. But he, he hasn't quit. You know, Other people that's on the same boat probably could just stop and, and leave. But he's given himself and us every chance to, to play on Saturday. And now, when will, he, when will he find out if uh, Niall can play? Um, whenever he tells us, <laughs> if he goes down to the embassy or what, he just <laughs> he says he's waiting on the green card. So, uh, listen, wait, if we see him on the flight tomorrow, I don't think we will, but hopefully we see him in, in Tullamore Saturday morning. You're very unlucky against Sligo, we all know that, and you the big game against Offaly you now this week. We're, we're in effect a Division 2 team. It's, uh, would you think it's a step up? And how, you, how have you been approaching the week? You, you know, you just found out about it last Saturday. Oh, it's, it's definitely a step up, definitely. Um, I, would, uh, I wouldn't have always followed Offaly, but uh, Luke Kelly being out here and then he, he went home at the year and I always looked out for him and seeing was he on the panel and then I was watching them like they have some silky forwards and then I always would have watched Neil McNamee. Um, and, and he's still doing the business, you know. Um, I would listen to a few of his talks there now that he'd be with Oshie McConville and that, and you know, he, his love for the game. So I'm sure he is the, the younger boys coming in there, they're all well prepped for the game. Luke Kelly, of course, won the senior county with you and Barnabas last year. He's been on the panel, panel this year. Is he still on the panel, do you know? I, I believe he, he's on the 26, yeah. I, I had a text from him on, on <laughs> uh, was it Monday morning? Just with the A's emoji so yeah listen Luke's a great lad and it, it would be great to see him playing against them or him playing against us but hopefully next year he can play with us you know so um, will there be many uh, changes to the team Saturday Johnny I heard there's one or two maybe have dropped off the panel I think Mark Ellis is gone is he is there a couple of other yeah well there's a few that you know can't come home uh, Mark said he'd work commitments which is understandable out here that's what comes first with everyone you know um, so yeah, there is possibly maybe four or five changes from, from the last day. From the starting panel, is it? Is there going to be that many changes from the start, or from the starting team from uh, the Sligo game, is it? 
Possibly, yeah. Okay. Possibly. Depending on nail, that will make the number four or five. Yeah. But yeah, for okay. sure. But then also, people that come in and done a job as well, you know, might be better off starting. So I, I would say there's going to be four or five, yeah. So, like, uh, Offaly have had games all season, New York haven't. You're still the dark, dark horse. Is that something you're embracing uh, ahead of Saturday? Oh, yeah, sure. You'll always, you'll always be the dark horse when you're in New York. But sure, look at Derry. They were the dark horse again thrown, dark horse again Donegal, dark horse again Monaghan. And look where they are now. Phenomenal. So, listen, you need luck and you need commitment. We have the commitment. Hopefully get a bit of luck. It's a big ask. Like, I know they're saying they're down to Division 3, but Offaly are they're a super team. They can... They have a great management over them. So, now, Of course, it's going to be slightly different Saturday. You're back on the grass pitch and uh, you've been training on the Astro all year. How have you been adapting to uh, playing on a grass pitch this year? I believe you were up in Rockland la uh, last week, were you? Uh, we, got a few, we got a few trips to Frank Golan and a few to Rockland uh, that we're very grateful for, for giving us the pitch. So, yeah, listen, we've, we've adapted. We're, we're going to be there. We're going to give them a game. It's, it's the Talton Cup. Like it's... It's how they take it, how we take it. You know, it's this is massive for us. It mightn't be as big for Offaly, you know, if, if they had a bit Wexford in the first round. I know the Dublin after that, but you know, it's this is what what we always wanted. You know, we're not challenging for anything else. We're not challenging for con Connacht titles. We're, this is where we want to be, and it's you know, it's it's the level we're at. So, like, if if you do in Saturday, the, you will be playing Crow Park then in the semi final, I believe. Is that another character? I'm not sure if it is Crow Park. I'm not sure. Okay. I I'm going to Portugal on Sunday for a week. So whatever happens Saturday, I don't care for a week. <laughs> That's telling you that through. I'm drained with football. So <laughs> one week off. Uh, Sister-in-law always get married in Portugal. So yeah. if we do win, which you know I I've every faith in the lads and and the setup. Um, if we do, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. What's the? Have you been just been playing in-house games? Have you got any challenge games since the Sligo game? No, we, we, we haven't really got anything, to be honest, because there's been, as you know, senior games, junior games, lads have been involved, so we haven't had any games. You know, we had a bit of one up in Rockland. It's, listen, it, we, it's been an unknown. We, don't, we didn't know what way to go on the county boards. We, we have to sit down with the county board and the CCC and see how we can work it next year that it'll only improve the setup of New York, you know, to try and work the games around it that we can train also. Because you don't, you don't want to by playing on a Tuesday, training on a Wednesday, playing on a Thursday, you know, so we have to try and see what works best for New York and for the club football, and the club yeah, football comes first. Yeah, you're talking about the, the fixture board here, isn't it, to work out, work yeah, out something? Yeah, 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 so like if we train on a Sunday, there could be 16 in the panel have a game that, that afternoon, you know, so you couldn't really work anything with them, so that that's what I'm talking about, but listen, club football always comes first, I, I would have been that opinion at home. Yeah. When, it, when I was club, it was always club before county, so why should that change here? How big is the Talton Cup? Uh, we just touched on it a second ago, but how big is it for New York here? Like it, It's the start of the summer here, and just a couple of minutes ago, we had all the young kids out there, I'm sure a few York kids were there, looking up at the New York panel. It's maybe harder to do it back in April when it's when it's still snowing. What, how important is it to have this second game for New York in general as a whole? I think it's massive because um, if you've won good game and the kids are there that day and watch you against Sligo, you know, then they forget about it for a full year. Where they, they had the chance here and it was a great idea to, to bring them along and get, you know, get to see their heroes like the, the Brosnans or the, the Loans or, you know, the Matters, the boys that grew up here and some of their uh, underage club have been here, you know, so it's, it's great to see that. Uh, how many uh, American-born lads are on the, the panel, Johnny? And they acquitted themselves very well in, in the Sligo game, a couple of them. Yeah, you put me on the spot. I'd say we've 12, 13. Um, yeah, acquitted themselves very well. Listen, the, the, Mar the Irish-American kids, they're great. They're, they're everything, their mannerism, the whole lot. Um, maybe sometimes they're a bit shy. So I think I think next year, I, hopefully, we'll see you know a, a different animal with them. But Jamie Boyle, captain, like, sure he, he lifts the whole team on how he performs, you know, so... Uh, there's a great mix there this year. Enjoy Portugal. Thanks. <laughs> For the latest New York GA news and other Irish American sports stories, visit thelonghaulpodcast.com where you'll find all of our latest podcasts, including our review podcast on the Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano fight, an interview with Kerry football legend Pat Spillane, and a podcast with Mead football legend Graham Garrity. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the Long Haul Pod.